welcome back to our channel today. We have some special guests. Yeah! As you can see, we're not in the normal place where we normally would be. Is that a sneeze? Yeah. <laughs> As you can see, we are not in our house today. We are in Dad Big Girl's house. Whee! Woo! Maddie, say hi, guys. And she's like, no, <laughs> give me that, give me that. So, for those of you that don't know already, oh, she's waving. Oh, cutie. For those of you that don't know already, Sarah from Dad Big Girls is my sister. So, these are my nieces. Yeah. And she's my cousin. And they have gone away for the weekend, leaving us in charge of their daily routines, their household duties that there. is six kids we're looking uh, after casey and grace are out as well but we are looking after six kids so yeah. the title says swapping lives with dad because we've got to do everything that they would normally do in these next four days just add in our kids as well though they need to do this challenge back and have them all 100 percent. i'm yes. up for that she stinks she did a poo poo high five pew did you just fist bump fist bump today guys do fist bump fist bump yeah. <laughs> so this is how we got on yesterday when we arrived at the dad we girl's house we've just arrived and we have made such a mess i think if i have to take over being sarah this weekend the first thing i need to do is tell everyone off for leaving things in the hallway hello she's already tidying up the hallway for me right. who have we got here maddie hello. say emma you want to see yourself here we go say emma how much stuff have we bought? Is it super heavy? Who's this? This one is mine. Why is that everything is hard? There's a kitchen sink in there. What kitchen? Not really, it's just my jeans in there. Any clothes? My clothes. Who's this, this Udi? Uh, that's Olivia's. Yeah, and then Logan's bag. I think I want to get the Logan bag in the upstairs. So Logan, tell me. Why are you at the Conda house? You should be with Auntie Sarah. I've got their kids and my kids. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! Party! Woo -hoo. Party over here! What's going on? She fully asked me to, like, she's like, uh, uh, let, me in the, let me in the car seat. I put you in, didn't I? Like? What are you doing? You want out now? Yeah. So tell us, Ryan, what was one of the conditions Same. when Sarah said, can we have our kids for three nights? What was the condition that you set up? Yeah, that we got use of the car. So that's, that's basically <laughs> yeah, it. Even really. Three nights. <laughs> three nights. Three nights. Three nights. <laughs> Dinner's being made. So we got a sausage and mash. Sausage yes, and mash. Yes, sausages and mash with Yorkshire pudding and, and peas note, and gravy. I better go and start. Do you like that? Oh, sugar bum. Is that what mummy would make for you? Oh dear. Listen, I've seen you try and climb out of this seat, Missy. <laughs> yeah. When you're driving with Auntie Emma, you're not going to get out, are you? Two arms over. Are you going to show me how you climb out? Because you cheeky monkey. you say Emma. Emma. Oh, i got to do these bits as well. Okay. Hmm. I'm not sure how these go. Yeah. Oh, they go in there. Okay, you're, so, you're very clever, aren't you? You're driving. Driving. Show me the way. Right, just check on the tumble drying. Hold on. What do we got? Tumble drying's on. Next load of tumble drying to go in. Because it wouldn't be uh, the dappy girl's mum without making sure washing and the house is clean. I've turned up and it's completely clean. So there is no housework being done this weekend because looking after six kids is going to take up all of my time. Holly, tell us. Whose bed are you sleeping in? Casey's. Have you got your own room? Yeah. How long have you been wanting your own room for? A year. I and also, Casey went through her wardrobe and left me a bag of clothes to work. Nice. Did you get any nice bits? Yeah. Because you're so little, did any of it fit you? A little bit. Of nice. A pair of leggings, a pair of shorts and some sliders. So I have got a list from Sarah. So it said six o'clock bath time, which we done. Six thirty milk, which we done. Snuggles until seven, which we done. 
<laughs> it's now 10 past seven and uh, yes, yeah, she won't go to bed. Watch what happens when I try and take her up to bed. Maddie, come on in. She's going to nights. Come on. <laughs> Maddie, she got bed pies. Come on in. Let's go to bed. <laughs> Auntie, I'm going to take you to bed. Auntie, I'm going to take you to bed. Come on in. Stay with me. Stay with me. She's so cute. You're going to say night night. Oh. Oh. Good girl. Night time. No, not hello. Night night. We lost her to the soft play. I mean, it's kind of standard though. <laughs> I'm going to have to put the camera away and try and just pick her up and take her to bed. You can go watch Rio. 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 Come on then. Okay, we're going to go back to calming down time and then not make her say goodnight to her sisters. Woo! My sister doesn't believe me that she's cheeky at bedtime for me. When Sarah puts her to bed, she literally lays her down and walks out the room. <laughs> she's telling you. I, I I'll tell you, she, she's so good at I need to explaining out what she wants, this, doesn't she? I know I had to get Chloe to come and tell me how to work it. Oh, whoa! It's got to be like a back button. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Maddie, oh. who's the best? Ryan or Emma? Emma. Emma. Oh, don't you give me that. You. I'm the best. Ryan. Time is 7.37. First one to bed. Um, looks promising. It's taken me 40 minutes longer than Sarah to get her to bed, but I'd still say that's a win. So I'm gonna sort the kitchen out now and keep an eye on the monitor for the next half an hour. Just make sure she doesn't uh, try and get out of bed. Ryan and the others are watching a film. And then we gotta try and somehow figure out who's sleeping where and in what bed. This one's actually, oh she's out of a grow bag. There she goes. She's back out of her grow bag. Switching up dummies and stuff. Just playing really. Said she pooed herself a little while ago. She definitely hadn't. <laughs> Look at the time! <laughs> she is giving all the monkey business. We've done it. Got them all to bed, Ryan. We got them to sleep. Yay. Yay. It's only half nine. Half past nine. We've got Sophie, Chloe, and Logan all in bed. What, nine o'clock? What time? Maddie finally fell asleep after I stroked her hair. <laughs> Sarah's gonna tell me off for that. Fingers crossed they all sleep through and no one wakes up at six o'clock in the morning. No. Good morning. Morning. I just have to just I just have to show you guys this. How many people said yes to tea this morning? No, see, I asked the question, I said, Emma, do you want a cup of tea? And then everyone went, We want tea! So yeah, even You've Maddie made said. tea in the gravy boat that we had from dinner yesterday. Yeah, I don't think that's a bad idea. I'm like, <laughs> that is... Oh, you've lost my spoon. I lost the spoon. That is my teapot. Nice. Because I thought it needed to be, whoa, 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 whoa. It needs to be a big teapot. Okay. So I kind of got a gravy boat, tea, gravy boat okay. teapot. Okay, good idea. Let's see how everyone slept this morning. Hi! Hi. Hi. So tell me, Chloe... Did you wake up in the night? Yeah. Yeah. Did you need a cuddle from Auntie M? Yeah. Did you need a cuddle from Auntie Emma? Yeah, because I, because I, had, um, I was scared of the dark. I know, Auntie Emma was silly and I didn't leave the light on for you. I didn't realise, did I? So your room was too dark and you Whoa. needed a cuddle. I slept amazingly. I got in the bed with Logan. Ryan and Olivia had Sarah and Joel's bed. Logan was too hot, put the fan on. Could hear someone crying, got up and it was Chloe. She was crying because I'd turned the lights off. And the room was too dark, so I laid with her. And then Maddie woke up crying. So I went into Maddie, and I went back to 
Chloe stroked her back until she fell asleep, then went and got into bed with Logan again, who was still awake, and then Maddie started crying again. So got out of bed, went to see to Maddie, and then Chloe comes running out into the corridor. I was like, no, all three of you are awake. Ryan, you was up with Olivia? I was, yes, with a hurt, a hurting leg. So then Logan was awake just before seven. He shut the bathroom door, slammed it, that woke Maddie up. Maddie crying woke Chloe up, so just Boom. after seven, awake. all three of the little ones were awake. We we're going to go to the park today, um, Richmond Park, but it is hammering down. The rain is so bad. So, what should we do today? I think... I just don't know what to do with myself. Go to jumping. Trampolining? Yeah. Let me see if there's any tickets for trampolining then. This started to shine so we're actually gonna go to Richmond Park. Richmond Park. Yeah so this is where me and Sarah would go loads as a kid so me and Auntie Sarah went here lots and lots and you run along the little path and you cross over all the bridges. You've been here before. No I haven't. You have. No I haven't. Definitely have. You just no, don't remember it. No I haven't. No um, I haven't. I forgot how no, hard it is to get out of the door with a baby. Honestly packing a bag then she did a pooey nappy, so I had to change the nappy. Cossies. Oh my god, they're so heavy. <clears throat> and even though it's really sunny now, it rained so heavily this morning that that path is under a lot of trees, so that wouldn't have had time to dry out. So we've had to go and find all the kids' welly boots. I didn't even know if Maddie had welly boots, but she does. And now she's seen them, she only wants to wear those. She doesn't want to change out of them. My legs! Ah! My legs. Um, we actually decided not to take Sarah and Joel's car. We've just put the car seats in our cars. Oh, it's so just easier. I can't find the keys. If I know I where the keys, keys are. What? They told us where the keys were. <laughs> You've just buzzed me totally. I'm like, I'll take the car. I have the car. Do you want the car? Yeah. I'll just take my car. I'll we'll just take your car. So I've got jumpers for everyone. I don't, want to I don't have any lunch. I don't have any packed lunch. What even is the time? The time is 12 o'clock. Maddie should have had a nap by now. She hasn't. She's absolutely hanging. So Maddie's fine. She's got a bag full of food. It's the rest of us that are going to starve. Oh, okay. We're going to stop at the shop on the way there, get lunch. Catch for you. Um, and then take these kids on a muddy walk. Let's go. Let's go get muddy. So the weather literally can't even make up its mind. So in the morning, it was pouring down with wet rain. Later on, later on, it was like really sunny. And now it started to rain again. So we have got here and it is super sunny. Thank goodness the rain has stopped. I'm not sure I would say super sunny, but it's not raining. So that's good. Yeah. You excited to go and find the river? Yeah. Excited to find the stream? Yeah. I got a little bit lost coming here. <laughs> I went down the wrong path. And Maddie has had a lovely big sleep. So I didn't mind going the wrong way because it meant that she got a little bit longer sleeping. She's ready to get out. Hold on, baby, hold on. So Ryan has just popped to the shops to go and get our picnic lunch. Uh, I didn't remember a picnic blanket, so we're not going to have anywhere to sit. So this is where we used to come when we was children. You want to go in? I've got yeah. these crop tops. <gasps> you stole Sophie's crop top. Why did you do that, Chloe? Yeah, I wanted to see a matching You did. Look, let me see. Twins. What will Daddy say when he sees this video, sees you wearing a crop top? Oh, it's Mummy that's going to turn me off. Who found the first bridge? Me. The rule is when you see a bridge, you've got to cross over it, okay? This is actually one of my most favourite places to come. It's a Bella Plantation in Richmond Park. I just love it here. I love chasing all these little bridges and streams. It just looks so different from when I was a kid, though. All of this has really grown up. Like, this was all tiny when I used to come here as a kid. since we were kids. They never used to be this sturdy. Holly, you're going to have to turn around and hold her. Hold her hand. Peek-a-boo! I can't believe that big leaf is blocking the path now. <laughs> Ryan, 
don't fancy having six children then? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Three is perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Instantly doubled our number yes. of children. I mean, that is. We're getting some funny looks, though, aren't we? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's pity or what. It's like. Hmm. Like, you fools. Yeah. Look at Logan you guys. and Chloe really look like twins as well with their little wellies <laughs> and walking side by side. <laughs> They're just looking at us like, they've got bare kids. So they many got kids. Bare kids. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! That is the best poo stick in the world! Show yes. me! You gotta throw that one in. Do you know, in the night, Chloe, I didn't know who was crying. You or Maddie, your cry sounds exactly the same. Yeah, I was thinking that. And I said it whispering. Yeah, you I did. Bed. I said, oh, I think Maddie's crying. You went, I think that's Chloe. And we couldn't tell if it was you or Maddie. It was actually Maddie. Mm. And then me. And then you. And then Maddie again. And then mm. Olivia. And then Logan. And then back to you. And then, you. And then back to Maddie. And I didn't cry. And nor did Sophie. I was just getting the camera out to say that as well. Like Chloe has just been absolutely unbelievable. Beautiful, She's so she? beautiful. She, Olivia's just fallen. You found a poo stick, awesome. Look at her stroking Olivia's back. So Olivia just fell out of a tree and bumped her head and wrist. And she's really making sure she's okay. Are you having a good time? Yeah. Good. Do you like Auntie Emma looking after you? Whose bed are you going to sleep in tonight? Grace's bed and... With... Love. How much better is this than trampoline? So, how did we all sleep last night? Good. Good. I, I actually slept really good. Normally I don't sleep that well. It was better in Chloe's bed because I had my own bed and I didn't feel like I was running on anybody. Yeah, that's probably best, isn't it? I slept amazingly again, you know. <laughs> Um, Casey, you want to watch out? She's coming for your bedroom. She's going to move in. <laughs> Where are we? We have just come we're out of swimming. Just come out of swimming. Looks like you both did a great job. So I did, I did an amazing <laughs> job. <laughs> what about you? Did you do an amazing job? Yeah. She kept... Because we, we were doing backstrokes. She kept going on top of me. Yeah, because at, she's At the end, fast. I just stopped and she's, shoved her head She's back. rapid. She get, I mean, you must get kicked so much. You, what you need to do is you need to just stand there and be like, right, I need to wait a bit longer because every no, time I do it, I always get kicked no, in the head. She always goes, one, two, three, off you go. One, two, three, off you go. What else happened this morning? We had poor Chloe. Poor Chloe had a little, she's got a bit of a sick bug, hasn't she? Yeah. It's not very good, is it? I wonder where she gets it, got it from. I don't really know. As you heard, Chloe is not very well today, so all plans will be cancelled. We did have some friends coming over today. Um, typical Dadby Girls thing, they love to host having people over, so we had some friends over for lunch today. Cancelled that. We're all staying in. We've only just got out of our pyjamas, haven't we, guys? As you can see, Chloe is feeling so much better. Uh, they're not normally allowed food and drinks in here, but we have boycotted all the rules, haven't we, Chloe? Can you give us a thumbs up? You're feeling good. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Here's Logan. So I've hoovered everything today. That's what mummy would do, isn't it? Hoovered everywhere. Have I taken good care of you today? Did I take good care of you like mummy would take good care of you? Yeah. So I just went upstairs to check on Emma because obviously I made her lunch and then Maddie started waking up. So she's gone upstairs, I'm like, oh, I see what's going on. Maybe she's, I don't know, pooped through or something like that, she's having a bath or something, but no, that's not the case. Let's, let me show you. So it is Sunday night, their mum and dad are coming home tomorrow, so just one more night. And Maddie, I've just found her up on the kitchen side, tucking into a bag of chocolates. So uh, we've taken those off, calmed the tantrum and got some grapes because it is nearly, nearly bedtime. Bear. And a bear. Yes, you've got a bear on your pyjamas. Should we show everyone? Ready? Show them your tummy. <gasps> 
So you chose your pajamas. Auntie Emma can't say no to you. But here, you haven't been calling me Auntie Emma this whole weekend. You've been calling me Mummy. Where's Mummy? Yeah, in the she can see herself in the camera. Where's Mummy? Brian is working a night shift tonight, so it's just me going solo with all six kiddies. Chloe, you wouldn't even know that she was poorly this morning. She's literally like full of beans. She is wild. She's managed to eat breakfast, lunch and dinner and all her drinks. And she's been able to get off the sofa and she's been playing. So thankfully, touch wood, no one else has said that they feel poorly. So hopefully, fingers crossed, no one is uh, poorly through the night. I've completely forgotten how hard it is to look after a toddler. What's that? Is it your foot? two feet. Maddie, we've got to say bye-bye and see you next week. Can you, can you say, see you next week? <coughs> see you next week. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Can you say, subscribe? Bye. Say thumbs up. <coughs> thumbs up. Subscribe. Maddie tells you you have to, so there you go. It's the rules. We'll see you next week. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.